Welcome to Long Beach, guys. First off, I wanted to say, I think people wonder why realtors, quote unquote, charge such high fees. And it's because we literally have to educate ourselves day and night. I took some PTO off from my day job to hone my skills at the California Association of Realtors Expo. So my day started off well, I learned a lot, made some new connections during the mixer hour, and by and nightfall- I step outside and it starts raining. Um, that I did not expect, but I came to my car with my jacket over my head. I'm heading to Santa Monica now, actually. There's actually gonna be a screening of a documentary at a church that I'm heading to, so very excited about that. Um, being around aware people are the type of people that I'm trying to mingle with. I like people who, like I said, the only word I can use is aware. Um, they can tell what's going on around us, what's really going on. Uh, if you know, you know. I like mingling with those types of people, so I'm very excited to just hang out. Um, one lady I haven't seen in quite a while, so I'm meeting up with her. She's the one who invited me, so I'm going to get ready to drive to Santa Monica from Long Beach right now. I'll catch you guys over there and I'll vlog once I'm inside. There has to be a bathroom, there has to be some place to eat around here, something. I see a Chipotle and a veggie grill, but I don't think, I don't think they're, they're will be quick enough, so I'm just gonna go to the church. I'm sure they have a bathroom. <laughs> so, I'm starving though. I was hoping there would be like a, I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping that there would be a McDonald's, but indeed. Oh, oh, oh okay. Great. And you said the restroom's outside? Yes, there is. Okay, thank you. Let me uh, put this stuff in my purse. And I completely forgot that they said in the email they were uh, taking donations. <laughs> but luckily, for the very rare occasion, uh, I actually do have cash, so I'm glad about that. Is it right here? Oh, this is it. I'm just going to some random room. Oh, thank God, I'm not suffering anymore. <laughs> okay, now that I'm, I'm good. Um, I need to text my friend, because a friend is the one who invited me. I don't know if I said that already. Um, she's probably inside by now. Oh, let me get the money out, hold on. Okay. Money or something. Now, I haven't seen my friend in front of her, so. Do I even still recognize this woman? <laughs> um, let me sit down and text her. I always basically like sitting in one of the front rows. The screening went over by about 30 minutes. I just went to Veggie Girl real quick. I'm very tired, I have to get up early tomorrow. Um, I am going to link down below the organization that threw this. I'll link the books and speakers that they had featured tonight. All very interesting information. And hopefully you guys can sign up for their mail list. Um, they're also giving out a free chapter of a book that's coming out called, um, I think it's like Unmasking the Illusion or something like that. All the information will be down below for you guys and I'm here again this morning. I'm about to go inside. Um, I did show you this part on Tuesday because I was like, go, go, go that morning. Had a lot, lot of stuff going on that day, but today I'm gonna get a lot better footage. Pretty sure that they're doing headshots this morning over this direction. What's unique about this morning is that I need to jump on another call again. So I'm gonna have to go find a quiet spot for that, but let's get this picture out the way first. Oh, well, that's a TikTok booth. Yeah. All of our clients that we work with it. Yeah. Here's how mine came out. I was still lost in the days thinking this was a boomerang. <laughs> I was wondering why it was lasting so long. I was running out of poses. It says who's your realtor in the back and then we showcased our brokerage email addresses. I jumped on an appointment and once that was out of the way, it was time for my favorite part, the exhibitor hall. This is where I'm wanting them to take my money, okay? Convince me. Good, how you guys doing? Pretty good. Wow. We're real marketing, we're a direct mail marketing company. Oh, nice. Okay. This is our best-selling product. What so is this? This is a market report. Oh. We would send it to a specific area, 
Um, and then we, we show the homeowner the act of pending and sold within the area. Um, here's a map of that same information. Give some stats on the back. And we have this in a couple formats. We have it in this 11 by 17. Like how much does one of these cost? So this is a dollar plus postage. Oh, nice. That's pretty, pretty nice. Right? Okay, yeah. can I have your card? Can Absolutely. You yeah, so just got Thank you so much. Pack no sample pack. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. What was your name? Oh, Deidre. Deidre, I'm Dakota. Nice to meet, nice you. meet you. Nice to meet all you guys. Yeah. All right, awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a lot of freebies today, but i got to put all this stuff in my bag. Hold on. <laughs> I honestly should not have accepted the water. My bag is already heavy from my other waters. Definitely gonna send these to my people. They said this packet you can mail to people is only a dollar. Like, what? I need to get on that. Okay. All right. What I'm trying to find is the um, self-defense exhibit. They said that they were gonna teach self-defense at 10 o'clock. This is who I'm with. This is the MLS that I use up and down the halls I went. There's so many great services and what it turns into is you're nickel and dimed to death with every item presented as the next catapult for your business. Signed up with them also. <laughs> Hi there. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's camera. my little vlog camera. Whoa, that's yeah. pretty cool. Tell me about you guys. I just signed up with you recently on your website but I haven't like used it yet. Okay, so basically only the builders that are on there are the ones who want to be on there. It's not like every, Thing that's happening. Oh, okay. They opt in because they're willing to pay commission. Oh, got it. Okay. It. What did I win? What did I win? <laughs> okay, you are. Oh gosh. <laughs> we wanted me to get a surprise, but oh well. That's good too. Air freshener is good too. I can put it in my there car. <laughs> Thank you. You're oh, welcome. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Have an amazing day. Thank you. Just when I was ready to give up on the whole self-defense exhibit, I finally found it. She showed us how to get out of being strangled, pressure points, with an invite to attend their free subsequent classes, which I was excited about attending, but they have some medical rules for entry, so that's a no got for me. some really cute freebies today as I sit here with Rocket Mortgage in their lounge. Let me show you. They got a phone charger. Sanitation wipes. Um, this is post it notes, post it notebook, a, a stress ball. Um, this is definitely one of the ones I like the most. The post it note thing that you put on your desk. Just overall, this has been a really nice experience so far. Uh, let me show you where I'm sitting. Next show is going to start in about 50 minutes, so I have some time to kind of just chill a while. My feet hurt, that's why I stopped to sit here. Um, they're kind enough to just let me chill a while, so yeah. Shoulder hurts carrying the bag with, um, so I'm actually going to go drop this off in my car, but since I have an hour to the next session, I think I said it was like 40 or 50 minutes. No, it's an hour till the next session. So I'm trying to find food, but all the restaurants right here are full with all the agents. So um, I'm trying to find a restaurant that's not full. So I'm just taking a walk along the pike. I walked around the block and I found a chili. It's vacant, you know? I guess the realtors didn't make it this far. <laughs> Next session is gonna be about marketing, so I'm excited to learn what they tell us because I actually need to start doing that better. So yeah, ordered an appetizer platter so I could get out of here quickly. Okay, so let me tell you why I got into real estate. Um, ooh, this mozzarella stick is thick. Okay, I got into real estate because I wanted to build relationships. I don't go out of my way to make friends or anything. So then I said, well, that might be what I want to do emotionally, just keep to myself, be a homebody. But mentally, I know I don't want to go through life not connecting with others. So. Like, I've always had this belief that, you know, it's too difficult to be friends with people. People have their issues. People are flaky. Like, I, ain't got, I don't got time for it. I don't have time for it. I don't want to deal with it. 
I'm just going to keep to myself, work on my goals, and just enjoy my own company. Um, so yeah, my friend actually never showed up on Tuesday at the screening of the documentary in the church in Long Beach. She had a family emergency. So I'm like, okay, I get it. it things happen. Um, so today, I was actually supposed to have an early dinner with a friend after the event today. And she um, canceled too. So <laughs> in my head, I'm like, see, see, this is what I was talking about. People are too difficult to build relationships with. But I have to just stop myself and say, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, people have stuff going on. I mean, people who actually have relationships have stuff going on. Stuff happens. And I'm sure I'll be that person who maybe has to reschedule or something too. Or cancel too. The more people that I have in my life. So anyway, I was just thinking about that. Because two, two cancels in one week had me like... The special guest of the expo was Jason Oppenheim from Selling Sunset. Hearing his background was, should I say, comforting? <laughs> but not, you know, I was working 10, 12 hour days in an office. Uh, I was using my mind, I enjoyed that, but I, you know, I think my personal skills were not put to use at all. I'm a pretty social person. When you're a corporate lawyer, you're not really, doesn't, they could care less if you're social. In my first 10 months. Um, because I was studying street maps and I was sitting in an office on a little $24 IKEA desk in Stacy's office. He spoke about quitting his job, traveling the world, running out of money, driving a beat up car, living in a shack, and it took him almost 10 months to get his first real estate client. Now look at him on TV. Needless to say, that was a great morale booster for this expo. In the end, they had some very generous raffles of which I want none. <laughs> In the next vlog, I'm going to let you guys see a little more of my day job. So, bye for now.